Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I wanted to share some updates about our off-grid land and some of the goals that I'm setting for the year. I'm transforming my mind to transform my life. This is so funny. My husband brought this rock home from our land. It's so cute. He wants to have a piece of our land with us wherever we go. So it's just in our car. <laughs> but yeah, I'll talk more about our homestead off-grid land in a little bit. I'm about to go into Trader Joe's and I'm just gonna do like a little mini grocery store trip. I'm just gonna get something for dinner, maybe some snacks for the week that my toddler will like. I'm gonna try to make it healthy but also delicious. Um, yeah, let's go. I will say, just because I'm a dietitian does not mean I don't get myself some treats sometimes. <laughs> it wasn't necessarily the healthiest trip, but I got some goods. I am planning on eating healthy, but I think it's totally okay to have some treats in moderation. So I thought it would be important to talk a little bit about what is going on with our homestead land. We bought a parcel of land in Northern Arizona. It's off grid and we were planning on living in our RV in it. Um, my husband lost his job. We wanted to do this anyway, but it was the push that we needed. But as we all know, it's winter and we had a huge transition. We now are living in a cabin just for a couple months till we get everything together. But in the next few months, couple months, we're gonna be at our off grid homestead land and I'm super excited about that chapter but in the meantime yeah we're just doing cabin life all right it wasn't a very big Trader Joe's shopping trip I love this yogurt for my little toddler because it's I like the fact that it's sweetened with honey these are really awesome for him too because they're like whole wheat noodles so they've got the cheese but at least that they're also whole wheat so you feel a little bit better about it you know I got some organic chicken breast and I'm gonna make barbecue chicken. I think you'll like that too. I also have some sesame Ezekiel bread. That's really good. Sometimes I make avocado toast and we, we chow down on that. My toddler loves bananas. Yeah, I got some water because we need to refill our five gallon containers because we can't drink the water where we're at. It's got lots of minerals in it. And this vegan caramelized onion dip is really more for just flavor. I love like putting on this with like avocado. It's so good. A little treat and I thought this looked good and somewhat healthy because it's white bean chicken chili soup so I thought that sounded kind of nice for like a quick meal if I need it and of course obviously kombucha I'm like addicted to kombucha but I just get it once in a while for a treat and then this is organic wine only five bucks it's like crazy and then oat milk so that's pretty much about it it is beautiful out today. It is in the 50s. The sun is out. We're in the woods. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. We're playing outside today. Hi. Are you having so much fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this week I'm gonna to try to do over an hour every day of being outside and playing with my toddler. Today we did a little bit over an hour and we're still outside, we're just like on our deck. I cannot explain how good it feels to just be outside. Especially in the winter when it's like all cooped up and stuff. So I already talked a little bit about 
the homestead land and we're so excited to go there. But in the meantime, I figured while we're kind of in limbo, I'm gonna do a challenge for myself. It's not gonna be super strict. Every night I'm gonna sleep over seven hours. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to spend an hour every day being active. The third thing I wanna do is I wanna be outside for over an hour every day and I can kind of combine the, the exercise with being outside. And while my toddler takes a nap every day, I'm going to do yoga and meditation, and I'm going to read about five to ten pages every day of this book, No Mud, No Lotus by Thich Nhat Hanh. This book is about suffering and happiness and how sometimes we have the mentality of to be happy, we have to have no suffering. So getting to a place where we don't suffer. But in this book, it's so cool because it talks about how Everybody suffers and it's okay to suffer. It's about our mindset and about transforming our suffering. Um, if we push it away or do we do we see it and do we realize that suffering and happiness always, always go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. So if suffering is there, you know, happiness can be there too. So I hope that makes sense, but I'm reading it and I'm only like on chapter like two, so. <laughs> I think it's so important to nourish ourselves in a positive way. Um, so I'm super excited about getting back to that. Eating really clean. I'm gonna allow myself to have like some treats and maybe a glass of wine here and there. But the bulk of my meals, I want to be healthy and I wanna eat a good amount of fruits and vegetables. I'm kind of shooting for like five fruits and vegetables a day, if not more. Water kind of goes in there too, like drinking plenty of water. But also actually the last thing that I'm, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug from technology. I'm kind of thinking from the time I wake up till about 1 p.m. No watching YouTube, no going on Instagram. This isn't just like a New Year's resolution. Resolution. This is something I've been trying to do um, is change my mindset, change my life. And so I'm just doing these healthy things to help set myself up for success because I really believe that to change our lives, if we want an external positive change, we have to do the hard work. We can't expect to have a different outcome if we don't do any different inputs. So I'm focusing on putting in some really healthy inputs. So thank you guys for watching this video um, and I will see you guys next time.